Hey everyone, Justin here from Resonate Music School and Studio. I just wanted to share with you a little tutorial or a studio trick on how I get my pitch bend effect that you hear in so many dance music songs nowadays. And what I'm talking about is the part right before the drop where you take either the lead instrument or a, a vocal loop and you start to gradually pitch it up in kind of a dissonant way so that when the drop hits, uh, it's a huge release of tension. This came up because one of my students actually asked me to show him how to do this and I've actually since then found an easier way to do it. So Brett, this one kind of goes out to you. So first and foremost, we've got this lead instrument, and me and Brett made this song together. As you can see, it's called The Best Song Ever, uh, so look out. But this is the, this is the lead, lead instrument that we want to use the pitch on. Now, right after it stops there, you can hear there's uh, a little bit of a snare roll, and that's a huge build, and that's where we want to actually add the effect in. So the first thing that we're going to do is I'm going to add a stereo audio track so that I can print uh, our instrument track down into an audio form so that we can deal with it then. And I'm going to call this track Lead Pitched. Uh, so I'm going to set my output on my instrument track to bus 7-8 and set the input on my lead pitched track to the same. Now I can record the audio straight into that track. Now I'm really only taking a small amount of it, so that's that should be good as far as recording. What I want to make sure I do is I add all the same effects to this new track. So I've got a little bit of a reverb going on there, so I'm going to flip over to my other window. And I'm going to copy that reverb over. So now it should sound the same. So all I really want out of this track is this first bar. Now you hear there's the little bend at the start. I'm going to actually replace that sound because we don't want to have that little bend in there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy and paste this where I need it. And then I'm going to replace that first sound. So I'm going to go in and grab the second one. And paste it in the place of the first one. Do a little bit of a crossfade here. Don't really need to be too precise with it. And then I should have, after I consolidate, a nice little one bar loop. So I'm going to paste that enough times until I've got it to where I need it. There we go. So, the next thing we got to do is pull up Melodyne. And I'm going to import this into Melodyne. I'm going to import this into Melodyne the same way that I would if I was going to actually tune it, like a vocal. So as you can see, we're on the note E there. Uh, the whole time looks like a pretty flat line, which is exactly what we want. So the next step, and this is what I've figured out, um, starting on bar 37, I want the pitch bend to start going up. And what I was doing before was actually grabbing each note and just dragging it up a little bit. And you can do it not, not snap to the 
to the grid there. Or not snap to pitch, I should say. Like this. So I was doing it, I was doing it gradually all the way before. But now what I found out is that I can actually automate the global pitch. So if I right click on here, I can choose plus or minus two semitones, 12 semitones, or 24 semitones. For those who don't know, 12 semitones is an octave. So it would be going from one E to the next E. So what I'm going to choose is actually 24 semitones, so we can go two octaves up to two E's above the note that we're currently on. The next thing that you need to do is actually enable automation um, for this parameter. So what that means is basically uh, I can click here, choose pitch, and add it to the automation. Now what we'll notice is if we go over to our track, on the bottom here we've got an FXA Melodyne and we've got pitch as a choice. So now I've got this line in here and that's where the pitch is sitting currently. So what I want to go, or what I want to do is start on bar 37, draw in a little dot, and go to the very end of it, draw in another dot, and then drag this dot up. And you can see the little plus 24 happening there. That's telling me how far I'm bending. So if I play this now, you'll see that uh, in Melodyne, as the, as the line goes across, you can watch this knob essentially turn up. Now what you can do is you can play with the shape of that, so personally I like to kind of make it a little bit more of a curve. So I make a couple more dots across here, and I kind of make it curve out a little bit more so that it's not quite so straight up the whole time. Just a little bit. It makes it a little bit more musical, I find. So, here's our finished product. <laughs> And there it is. So that's the pitch bend effect using Melodyne and automation. Thanks for watching. I hope you had a lot of fun. Uh, I know I did, and I'm going to be putting up more of these videos soon. Uh, please comment, like, make sure to subscribe, check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Um, and if you want to see anything, make sure to get a con in contact with me and ask me questions. Uh, I love doing these videos, so make sure you get a, get a hold of me if you've got any questions. Thanks a lot, and we'll talk to you soon.